Hello everyone. Welcome to GGM Motivation. My name is Vivian Nord. I am your motivator on GGM Motivation. The title of this motivation is It is already done or already done motivation. Listen very carefully because God just wants to make the whole of his children on earth remember that as it was in the beginning, so must it be in the end. Means that in the beginning, his creations used to believe absolutely, completely, without any doubt that God can do all things for them. What this means is that before the children of God ask for anything, before they even think about it, that he has already given it to them, before any of his children are born into this world, before even God thinks it in his mind to create any of us or to do anything for us, that he has already finished it. He has already accomplished it for us. So before we are brought into this world, before our manifestation on earth, we have already been given whatever we need to survive and to succeed on it. There was a movie that I watched with my family some time ago. I watched that movie several times with my daughter because we kind of fell in love with that movie. It was called Boss Baby. That movie was meant for children. We watched it when she was a little girl. And she loved it. It made us fun, uh, you know, laugh a lot. They later on made the movie into a cartoon. Much later, after the movie was made. In that movie, there were special children that was born into this world. Kind of rolled out into the world. You know, they just... <laughs> they were not born through the normal way that we know that women got pregnant and then she had to wait nine months for her to, you know, give birth, you know, go through all the pains and difficulties before she would give birth to the baby. The way these children were born <laughs> was that when the family, when the mother and the family, the husband, wanted another baby. The baby is given. It's made manifest. The baby just comes already financed, already activated, I mean, already dressed up <laughs> in every way. He or she is already gifted with everything that he or she needed to survive in life on it. The baby are usually needed by not only if the family already had children or a child, that baby needed to have a sibling. Didn't want to be alone anymore. And in the mind of the parents wanted a sibling, a child, another child for them, for their little one or little ones. If it's just only one child, that sibling, that sibling to be, in her, his or her mind has already started feeling alone and wanting to have another person, a companion. So once that mind, that emotion, that desire of having another child or having a sibling is made or activated, 
or that is imagined or desired, that baby will just come to the door and ring the bell or knock on the door gently. The parents will open the door and they will see the baby already dressed up, already finas, looking as a baby, but still fully dressed up with suit or, you know, with dress. Dress up like a, 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 looking like a baby, but dressed up, had everything with a briefcase, already ready in life. The baby will come with the parents, will carry the baby, or the baby will walk in and sit down. The baby can talk and do things and tell them, okay, I'm here, you needed the baby, okay. The baby already has a special uh, baby, uh, what do you call it, uh, milk bottle that is fully financed, fully made. That is a special milk that the baby will continue to drink. It never runs out. The baby will drink it, sip it forever, you know, for as long as the baby needed to grow. And the baby will keep growing until it grows into a matured person. The baby will be able to be successful in life and do everything like a full human being. Anyway, let's end the story there. Anyway, so basically this boss baby is a very good explanation of what all of us as a human being are. Yes, we are not a baby, but it gives you a glimpse into what God used to do in the past for us as it is, was in the beginning. We are already made. We are already financed. We are already prepared. We are already activated. Our life, our story, our accomplishment, everything that we do in this world is already done. Everything that we needed to succeed in life is already given to us. Our bank accounts are already created. And money or monies have already been deposited. God has already given us the checks. And he has already written our name. It's made out to us. Our bank accounts are already filled with money. Food that we eat is already prepared. In fact, the food we will eat is prepared and we are fed already. It's already inside us. The only thing we need is to swallow it. Swallow it means acceptance. And it is already done. Swallow it. Accept it. But you have to ask gently. Ask nicely. Knock. And the door will be open unto you. Search. And you will find. When you find it, knock on the door. And the door will be opened for you. And you look inside and you will find what you are looking for. And it will be given to you. Now you need to accept it by swallowing it. Swallowing it means acceptance that is already done. And swallowing it means it is already done unto you as you believe. It is already done. It is not just it is done. No, it is already done. Is it done? It is done means you have accepted it. But it is already done means that it is already inside your mouth. You have failed already. So basically, this motivation talks about, it's actually meant to explain to you that before you came into this world, God has already done everything for you. And he has already put it in your mouth. 
All you needed is to accept it. I swear it. Believe it. But you ask, when you ask, you must believe and ask. You must not ask nicely. You must believe that you are worthy. And then you must accept it. And you must accept it completely. Not just like, eh, I accept it. Or, eh, I believe that it will be done to me. No. When you believe, when you ask and believe, you must accept it completely beyond any doubt that is already done unto you, that you have already received it. This is the reason for this motivation. Now, let me tell you a story. My brother is a Clinton who we call the true, the tool of God on earth. He does miracles. Many of his miracles <laughs> are done in front of me or when he's around me. It could be done on the phone or face to face. It doesn't matter where both of us are. It doesn't matter the distance. Most of these miracles that he does, is, it doesn't mean that I have to be with him. But because of the kind of fit that he and I have on earth, that anything we ask of God or anything that anyone believes that God is using us or that what we tell them is true. Because when we meet people, wherever we meet them in this world, even if we met them by talking to their friends or talking to a relative or they met us somewhere, or met somebody that have met us in any form and has had this message, this truth, this faith that we have. And they accept it, accept it completely. Their miracle will be done instantly. There are many people on earth, both past and present, who have this kind of faith. Most of the time, this faith doesn't come, it doesn't come in many cases because people don't accept it completely. They ask, they believe, but they don't accept that it's already done. Many do this transaction, I call it transaction, this transaction of complete acceptance that is already done. Many of them do it in crisis. They do it in a hurry. They do it when all hope has been lost. They do it. <laughs> when they are completely stressed out and they have lost their mind, when they think they have lost everything or they are in panic, they do it. That's why you see miracle happens when all hope is last. But we don't need to wait until all hope is last before we believe and accept completely. We must start now to become that is already done. We must become God on earth. What I mean is this, we must know that we are from God and that we are one with him. Not just as people used to think, oh, God is my father, yeah. God is my mother, yeah. God is my sister, yeah. God is my friend. No, you must believe and accept completely that you are made of him, that you come out of him. For that reason, <laughs> you are one with him. You are just like him. Not that you are him, the most I God, but you are a spark of him that can never fail. That spark is directly from him, not through anybody else. Now, that spark is inside you also. It's not just, it's not that it's a runaway. You don't have to look for it anywhere. No, you have to, first of all, go inside you. There is a spark there. That spark is the spark of the Most High God. We call it the power of the Most High God. 
We call it the acres of gold. We call it you, the, the gold mine within you. I call it, it is already done, already done of God that is within you. Now, when you go inside yourself, This feeling, this love, this joy, this happiness, this peace, this is unity <laughs> within you, with God Almighty. That he is already inside you and that you are him, you are one with him. The love of God is what I'm talking about. That this love is unchangeable. The love is unstoppable. This love is the miracle of the Most High God. This love is the miracle of God. This call, I call it the action of God Almighty. The action that can do all things, that is unstoppable, unchangeable. God Almighty, that has already done and given you everything you need, that you have already have it inside you. All you need is to swallow this action that is already done. Now, when you accept this, that is already done for you. Your miracle must take place. This is what I'm talking about. When you swallow this truth, this truth is your faith, absolute faith, unstoppable faith, unchangeable miracle. Lost faith, the action of God in a man, the spark, the unity of God. When you accept it, when you swallow it inside you, when you become one with God, that He is your father, that He's your mother, your brother, your sister, your everything, that He will never fail you. That he has already done it for you. That is finished. Now, I will tell you about my experience. Since I woke up, I have noticed that before I ask of anything, in fact, before I imagined it, it is already done. So I go about, I've been going about doing things in my imagination. Completing it, it's already done. I see it. I know that I did it already. I notice that it's already done already. I notice that it's already given to me. In fact, that I have already swallowed it. Before it's, if I do it, I have already swallowed it. I'm not just saying that I've accepted it or that it has been handed over to me or it hasn't been given to me. I have already swallowed it. If I want to eat food, I've already cooked it. And I have already ate it. And my family keep telling me, you need to eat. And I say, I've already eaten. You need to take medicine. I say, I've already take, taken the medicine. Because I have seen me taking the medicine already. Now, what I'm trying to say is this. In the past, I used to say, I, don't, I didn't used to see me doing, doing things before they happened. But uh, now I've seen that we have this power to receive anything in this world. We have this power to have already been given anything we desire, anything we need. You know, before I was motivating you that if you need anything in this world, that you have to imagine it, you have to desire it before you receive it. 
But now I'm going to tell you another secret, which is the truth from God. That before we even desire it, before we needed anything, before we were born, talk of to get to the point desiring, forget about desiring now. We, as the creations of God, have already received anything that we want to desire is already accomplished. We must have this faith that is already finished. Because that before we ask of anything, we must have the faith that is already done. We must know it. We need to know that everything we did in this world, everything we ask, everything we do, everything we are accomplished in this world is already finished. That's what Jesus Christ was trying to tell us. Even when they hanged him or they said they hanged him, some people say they did not hang him, some people say they hanged him, some people, in all kinds of stories, it doesn't matter what you believe or what you do. Because, like he said, he said, it's already done. It's already accomplished. So our actions on it, anything we want to do, anything we claim that they did to Jesus, who has already been done. It is finished. Even his job, his work, his miracle was already done even before he did it. That's what I noticed with my brother, Isaac Clinton. When you ask him to do any miracle, to heal you, to help you to resurrect your brother or your sister or your wife or your anybody you want him to, to help, to make to resurrect, he knows in his mind God Almighty, the Most High God, His Father, has already resurrected the person. He tell you, okay, do you believe, do you accept that these, all things are possible, that my Father can do this? If you just say yes, or if you call him on the phone and say, okay, he will tell you. <laughs> do you believe it? He say yes. Okay, because you believe it is, I ask my Father, I thank him. I'm making you to believe. Now go, all is well with you. And he will tell you, go there, you will see that the miracle is already done. And if you go there, the miracle will be done. Like one, what my experience at the hospital, it was very important to them that I will wake up. You know, they have already lost faith, hope, or whatever. They have used their medicine, they have done everything. And the daughters, the German daughters, the French daughters, and uh, all the country's daughters that was working on me were screaming, catastrophe, catastrophe, catastrophe. My brother said, put the phone in her ear. Auntie Vivian, wake up. They believe. That God can do all things. I know that my father has already done it. And I thank him. <laughs> I opened my eyes. I woke up. All things are possible in this world. It was on the phone. He was in a different country. My family, my husband, my daughter, the doctors and the nurses were standing there. They have lost all their, they have done everything. And all of them, because they believed, and they asked him, and they told him to tell my husband. In fact, they put the phone on loud so that everybody can hear it. And he said, okay, because you guys believe that God can do things, that can even do this. And they put the phone on her phone, on her ear, although it's loud. And he asked me, because he knows me. I believe that God can do all things. All my life, I have always followed with him. I have always worked with him. And he knows that I believe that even if I died, that my father can bring me back to life. That God can do all things. 
He knows that I believe that before anything is done in this world, that God Almighty has already done it. He believes and know that I believe that before anything is done, it is already accomplished. So this motivation is the motivation of God. The motivation of it is already done. Not just it is done. It is finished, accomplished. So now, I motivate you to know just like the boss baby was already prepared and financed and given a briefcase and rolled out. The mother didn't have to go through nine months. The baby has already been created, prepared and financed and made manifest in front of the parents' door and the opened the door and accepted the baby and he became their baby. That as I believe that before anything is done in this world, before we accept anything, before we see anything, before it manifests, that it is already made manifest in heaven. That as it is in heaven, it must be done on earth. That before he asked his father, that his father has already resurrected him. So, it is the truth in this world. And before we ask anything, before we think it, before we even imagine, imagine it, that we have already received it, it is already in our mouth. All we need is to swallow it. In fact, in most cases, we have already swallowed it. Like in my case, I have already woken up. Because we just have to have the faith in this world and swallow it. But we should have in our mind that even before we ask, hmm, the God our Father has already given us, it's already there. So what I want everybody to start to do now is to start Open their heart. Know that there is God in this world. And this God loves them immensely. And that this God is the most high God. That he has put himself. His actions. What I call action. These days I just go about shouting actions. Actions. What I mean. Is not, I'm not crazy of, about action. What I'm saying is this. There is actions. Action of God inside a man, a woman, a child, a baby, eh? everything that God has created. This action is called the spark of the most high God, the power of the living God that has already accomplished everything for us. He has already finished it. Now, all we have to do. <sighs> Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in the most high God. And also remember to bring it out to the whole world and things around us so that we can breathe in. We should breathe in this power, this love. It is inside us, but we need to take it back. Because for a very long time, many people lost their, they think they lost their sparkle. I'm not just joking, but the spark didn't go anywhere. This whole searching for God everywhere, looking up and down, is madness, insanity, what they call insanity in this one. But I told you that insanity is bliss, but forget about that one. But what I'm saying is this, you are already insane. <laughs> Sanity is bliss. It's already inside you. You are already the action. It's already inside you. You must know this action is inside you. Embrace it. It is already done within you. Now you just have to bring it out. Circulate it around. Share it with the whole world. 
But first of all, you must breathe it in. Then you breathe it out. Breathe it in. Become you. Become God. You're already financed. Fabulously financed. Gifted. I call this insanity. I call it that we are highly gifted. If you listen to my, most of my motivation, you realize, realize that I go about in my motivation telling you that you are fabulously financed. That you're already gifted. I, in my motivation, I call it who you are, that you are already, you're already who you are, something like that. You're already financed, fabulously. You're already gifted. It's inside you. The food is already inside your mind. He has already produced everything. God is the factory, the owner of the factory. He has made everything. If it's shoot or roll it, whatever. He has already prepared all of it and he's giving it. Not just giving it out, but he's circulating it everywhere and put no circulation of things have been circulated inside all of us. And we just have to swallow it seriously. And then, start rolling it out, sharing the world, helping them to have this faith that they are also financed. I'm not saying that it's just one person. I didn't say it's only Vivian Node that has already been financed. financed. I'm not saying that the way it stays in those uh, few boss babies in the movie, that there's only few people in this world that are fabulously financed or that knows their power or that God is inside them. Like in a, for a very long time, we have been believing that just few of us, men and women of God, teachers and divine, whatever we call ourselves around the world, through whom we can see God, through whom, Through whom that we can touch to talk to God. No, you don't need to wait. You just have to f- have faith that even within yourself, that you can reach out. You can reach out within you and get your own miracle. All of us who work for God, we actually reach in with us and we find Him. We stay with Him and we are using them to do all this miracle. You can do this also. And you use it to meet us. When you meet us, you reach us. Our own actions will reach out to you and attach to you and work for you. But on your own, you can also work for yourself. On your own, you can also work for others. There's not only one boss baby in this world. There are many boss babies. Yes, there are some super boss babies like Jesus Christ and many other teachers around the world. But you are also a boss baby. And you just have to wake up to know that you're a boss baby. You have to not just know it. You have to believe it. You have to accept it. And the place to look is within not without, not outside. Yes, you're going to go out to meet other boss babies or super baby, super boss baby. But first of all, you must know that you yourself is also a boss baby. Boss baby, you are fabulously financed. You are fabulously and very, very well gifted. You are not mad. You are not foolish. You are not unlucky. Rather, you are lucky. You are not ugly. You are beautiful. If you don't believe me, go to the mirror and look at yourself. You will see how beautiful you are. God is the greatest artist on earth. You must find something beautiful in you, around you, outside you. There are things that made you special. So you are special. You are beautiful. You are highly gifted. You are an action. One of the actions of God on earth. Because his action is within you already. You're already gifted. You're beautiful. You are lucky. You know who you are. 
You are not sleeping. You are fully awake. For those of you who does, don't know this now, you don't know it before, follow my voice and wake up and know yourself. Jesus Christ said, man know thyself. That from the day a man, a woman, a child, any of the creations of God, accept this truth and swallow it completely, it is already done. They will become one with the Most High God. They will become who they are here on earth to be. They become the greatest factions of themselves on earth. You become who you are. And you must know that before you even ask, that is already done. Jesus said, it is done unto you as you believe. Now go. Another thing that you need to know before I leave you now is that you are not a sinner. You are not a sinner. You are not condemned. There is a motivation because I roll out some motivation without talking blah, blah. I don't talk too much most of the time except whenever God activates himself within me to talk, I just open my mouth and he will roll it out. What I do is whenever he gives me the idea or information, if I don't have time to do, sit in one place and wait for him or allow him to just speak his Words, I'll just rule it out. Like when he says, I should tell the world that they are not condemned. And when he said, I should declare the earth, paradise, heaven. We declare our earth as heaven. We are not condemned. We are lucky. We are blessed. We are sons and daughters of the Most High God. We are not insane. We are seriously gifted. We are one with the Most High God. We are the actions of the Most uh, actions of God. God, our Father, is the action. He is the main action. He is the main activity, and we are His activities. We are the masks, the face that God used to see the world. What this means is what the face of God, that we're the face of God, is what it means. We are the eyes, the face that he uses to see the world, to look at the world. We are the manifestations of God. We manifest the activities of God, the power of the living God. We manifest it. We showcase the power of the living God on earth. We are what he is. We are what we are in this world. He is us. I'm not saying that we are him alone, that we are God Almighty ourselves, because God is too much. I got him call of too much. He's too much. No one person can carry God. That's what my brother is a cleaner told me. He reminds me that nobody, nothing, none of the creations of God. Even the whole universe itself cannot carry God. The earth cannot carry the body of God. He's too much, too big. When I say big, I don't mean fat. He's just too much. He's all over the place. So no one can just come out and stand and say, I'm God Almighty. Oh, no. He's, simple. He's too much. You cannot carry him. So what we say, when we say you are God, or Vivian know to go everywhere and writing it, you are God. I'm not claiming that we are God Almighty ourselves because we cannot carry him. All of us cannot, together, if we are our body together, we cannot carry on, on, on our own alone, cannot carry him. So what I'm trying to tell you is that you are from God. For that reason, you are God. Because I had many people going around and saying, oh, we are saying uh, one person, all the people everywhere in the world, each of them are God. No. Or that me, even know the alone is God Almighty. No. What I'm saying, because we are created by him, 
We are from him. And we believe that we are his children, his creations. We are his actions. That makes us him, one with him. We have not from any other source. We are not devil. There's no devil in us. There's only God in us. And that makes us him. So for those of you who have been misinterpreting this truth, know this truth now. The children of God already know that they themselves are their father. They call themselves their father. When Jesus Christ came, he told the whole world that he is one with his father. When you see his father, that you have seen him. It doesn't mean that when your father is known, and when you are born and you are answering known, that you are your father. Your father still exists. He's still, be, you know, here. Your mother, still, Vivian, know that I have my daughter. She can answer my name. She will answer my name. She'll take my name. It doesn't mean that Vivian has stopped existing. That's how God is. We are God because we are, God is our father. It doesn't mean that God, our father, does not exist. So for the people going about doing the blabber, I drop this for you. We are God. We are one with God because we are his children. And I had to make this clear because God told me to tell it to the whole world, especially to the unbelievers who have been trying to disprove the presence of God, his manifestation on God, or the, his will of God, or the reality that God exists. So God told me to tell the world. It doesn't matter what they say or think. And what matters is what the Most High God says. That he is the creator. That he is the one, the action, the artist that made all things. He owns all things and controls all things. And he is the only source of all creation. That nobody should go about disproving him anymore. And he doesn't care if they try to disprove him. Even the one disproving God are still the creations of God. He actually told me, that anybody that doesn't believe that they are from God or that there is God on that they accept it, that they can check out from the earth. They can kill themselves. They can just die because they don't believe in life. God is life. God Almighty is life. And many of them who have been telling me that they, should, that they want me to show them God. Many people have been attacking me that has to show them the proof of God that they will not believe it until they see God. And he says that I should tell them they should go in front of the mirror and if they look at themselves, if they see anybody standing there in front of them, they should know there is God. If they look around them, go to their office, go to the shopping mall, go to the church, the mosque, the shrine, they should go to the temples. They should go to all the places that they worship, the, whoever they think they are worshiping, or they're worshiping God. If they see people there, or they see their step, text, temple, or whatever, floor, anything they see, and they can touch it, and they can see it, they should know there is God. If they see things created by human beings, or they go outside and see the poo of the animal. If they can see the birds. If they can see the rivers and the oceans. If they can see the trees. All of them, their hands are up, glorifying God, shouting hallelujah 25 hours. If there is anything happening there, if they can see the actions on earth. The action is everywhere. The proof of God is everywhere. So for those who have been attacking Vivian Nord and saying there is no God, they don't see God, they want to see God, they should go outside. They should take a walk. If they feel anything, if there is air that comes through their lungs, and if they can breathe, most importantly, if they can breathe, if you can breathe in and breathe out, and if they can swallow food, if they can use their eyes and see, if they can imagine, if they can think with their mind, if they can eat and enjoy this food, if they can cook, and if you can see food, vegetables, 
Even animals that they just kill anyhow. And they eat this animal. And they feel it in their mouth. The vegetables, the fruits, the nuts. If they can see these things and they eat them. The water they drink. The alcohol that they, they just misbehave with. You know? They do, they drink it. And then they condemn the alcohol. Now, the alcohol is there to make them happy. But they go about saying that nobody should drink it. It's a bad thing or whatever. But in the end, they go and hide and drink it. Everything that they do in this world that God allowed them to enjoy, yet they go about telling some of their friends, their relatives, that it's a sin. By the way, we handle sin later on because God did not create anything. He didn't call anything sin. There are people going around, etiquetting one another, saying they are sinners. We will handle that motivation later. But for now, we are focusing on the dawn. It is already dawn of God. So let's go back to this motivation. God says to tell the world, everyone, that before they ask, before they are born, before they are imagined, that he has already given them everything that they needed. And that before the earth itself, that they are going around saying that they, they, they created the earth, eh? they created the earth, they created themselves, they created human beings, they created the animal, all the things. And all these things, even before they that are going about disproving God, that God has already made all these things. And also, He has already even made them before they are manifested in this world, before they started disproving Him. So, at the end of this motivation, I will remind you again to know that before anything is done in this world, before the disprovers, the unbelievers are born, made into this manifestation of it, and God has already finished his work. He has already created his world. He has created the people that gave birth to them, although they call themselves worms. I don't know how they came out of worms. I heard they came out of fishes. When those fishes were already there before. When they themselves, the ideas of even creating the fishes were already there. When they that were created before they were made, they have already been made. Everything was already completed. So today, I finish this motivation. By giving you the word of God. Even before the word of God came out, everything was already done. So this truth is what it is. I'm grateful that I have already been accomplished. That this motivation has already been done. Even before I roll it out. Thank you for making other time to listen to me. I'm grateful. I know that you have already forgiven me and I forgive you. I love you and I thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.